Hey, welcome church. This is Pastor Van and uh, just wanting to let you know that uh, Pastor Greg will be preaching this Sunday, November the 20th from Romans chapter 4. And as always, I hope that you are using your white notebooks and the uh, Bible study uh, resources that are in there to uh, help you uh, prepare for the sermon. Uh, and uh, this will be our last uh, sermon in 2022 uh, for this, our Roman study. And then when we come back in January, uh, we'll pick it up again in Romans chapter 5. And we'll have some more pages for you to insert in your notebooks. And hopefully even more people will be able to join us on the uh, journey through the rest of Romans in the, uh, in the spring. Uh, so in Greg's absence, uh, I just want to give you uh, a couple of thoughts as you look at uh, Romans chapter 4. Uh, where we have been in the book of Romans, you're probably tired of hearing this, but it's just so important. The key verses is Romans 1, 16 and 17. And when we get to the end of chapter 1 and all of 2 and 3, uh, the case is made that uh, we have no standing before God. That all people are guilty. Uh, whether we're running from God, obviously guilty, or whether we're trying to get to God in our own effort, efforts, our own efforts don't work. And so we end up with Romans 3.23 that we all uh, are sinners. We've all sinned before and uh, come short of God's uh, righteous expectation, God's holy standard. And so uh, right there in that passage, Romans 3.21 to 26, uh, it reveals to us, God tells us how salvation uh, happens legally and how Christ came to to give his life on our behalf so that we could obtain the righteousness of God and be accepted by God and be acquitted from our sins, uh, no longer be guilty. And then at the end of chapter 3 and moving into chapter 4, uh, Paul here in this uh, book of Romans is unfolding for us the idea of what faith is and that it's not anything that we can do in our own efforts to please God, but it's all because of God. And that the only way we can uh, be made righteous or be justified before God, to be made right before God, is to believe by faith. And maybe you remember a few weeks ago in the worship service, the illustration of, of sitting down in the chair and completely trusting what you know is true about the chair to hold your weight. Uh, when we get to chapter 4, uh, perhaps something that uh, would be super helpful before this Sunday or before you have a conversation with your one another group or with your family about this passage, it might be really good to go back to the book of Genesis and look at uh, four different chapters in Genesis that are all alluded to in Romans chapter 4. And these four chapters in Genesis are Genesis chapter 12, the first portion of Genesis chapter 12, where God makes a promise to Abraham that... Uh, he's going to have an offspring and that through Abraham's descendants, the people on the earth will be blessed. All the people on the earth will be blessed. And what was interesting at that point, Abraham and uh, Sarai were both, uh, were not, didn't have any children. And they were both pretty old at that point. Abraham about 75 years old and Sarah about 65 years old. And then I'd encourage you to also look at Genesis chapter 15, 17, and 21. Uh, and each of those unfold a little more about God's promise to Abraham. So the four places to look uh, in preparation for the sermon or, or to help fill out the backstory for Romans chapter 4 would be Genesis 12, 15, 17, and then 21. And you, when you get to chapter 21... God's promise to Abraham is beginning to unfold. And the first step is Abraham and Sarah have a boy, Isaac. And so God's promise has been fulfilled to Isaac. So it alludes to the idea mentions in uh, Romans chapter 4 that uh, Abraham and Sarah were as good as dead. Uh, there was no hope that they would have a child at their age. And Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac was born. That's unheard of. And Sarah was 90 years old, and that was unheard of. Yet God was faithful to keep his promises. 
And then there's another uh, theme there through those passages in, in Genesis. And that is that Abraham believed and trusted God. And you'll see that in Romans 4. But it says that Abraham believed. He had faith in God and his promises. And it was credited to him. To Abraham's behalf, he was credited with righteousness. And that's a whole idea in of this the story of salvation that God's uh, plan of salvation is also nothing on our behalf nothing we can do in our works to earn it we are also just like Abraham and Sarah as good as dead and it's only by God's grace in moving toward us and providing a way for us mm -hmm. that by faith we can believe it and accept it so some wonderful parallels between Abraham having faith and believing and gaining righteousness for all people. And it's not just for the Jewish people, but for all the descendants of, of Abraham, all who believe the same way that Abraham believed, become, in essence, children of Abraham. Not just the Jewish people, but the Gentiles also, because they're coming to God in the same way that Abraham did, by faith. So, uh, just would encourage you to, to go look at those passages in Genesis and, and learn a little more about what uh, God's interaction with Abraham was in those promises. Uh, just want you to know, uh, I hope that uh, over the next uh, few weeks you can find some ways within your one another groups or as a family to, uh, to bless people around you. Uh, look for people that, that uh, you could help or serve or write notes to, or visit, or, or take a meal to, or dessert. Uh, and uh, I don't know that all the one another groups are going to meet every single week because we end up with Thanksgiving and, and lots of people traveling over the Christmas season. But take the initiative and uh, get together with others or get your family together. And uh, during, during this next couple months, during this holiday season, look for ways to love others and build bridges of love that perhaps the gospel can cross over and bring someone to Christ. So don't lose hope. Keep trusting God. Abraham had to wait 25 years for God's promise to be fulfilled and Isaac to be born. And I know that some of us here at EBC have been praying for a lot of years for God to move uh, in situations in our own lives and in the lives of people we love. And so Keep trusting God. Uh, keep putting your hope in God. God is the one who stands behind our promises. Uh, it's not how much faith we have, but it's that we have faith in God. So, so help one another. Hold one another up in prayer and in being faithful to God. And then one final thing. Uh, on December 4th, December the 4th, uh, we will not be having a family meeting that evening. Uh, we're going to push that off to December the 11th. And so on December 11th at 6 o'clock, we'll gather back here at EBC for another elder panel discussion and uh, then also have some other church business. So we'd love to have everyone from our church family out on December the 11th uh, for that panel discussion and family meeting. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, pr pray for Pastor Greg as he uh, prepares and as he preaches this Sunday. And I uh, just want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Good day.